We have three amazing openers. Uh, they're all doing five minutes into quick spots. Our first uh, comedian went third place on Friday night. Please give it up for Ian McDonald, everybody. Let him know. Thanks. Uh, I should probably apologize for my energy level tonight. I was up really late last night alphabetizing my t-shirts. I went to bed when I realized they were all t-shirts. I, um, I heard recently that people who collect things usually suffer from some form of mental illness, such as an anxiety disorder. And since I found that out, I've been trying to get the whole set. <laughs> I've, uh, I've never purchased a mattress or a bed. I've always had them gifted to me. I guess I have that look. <laughs> like I need a bed. No, I, I had always thought that I was doing really well in life because I had a futon. You know, I thought I was, I was multitasking with a couch that turns into a bed. Turns out I was failing in life with an uncomfortable couch that turns into an even less comfortable bed. Uh, growing up, my brother and I shared a room up until my sophomore year in high school, and uh, we actually had, we had bunk beds. Uh, given the age, one of the other of us each night would make the tower shake, but uh, he's left-handed and I'm right-handed, so every once in a while things would sync up and it would keep pretty stable. <laughs> my, uh, my grandparents had a subscription to National Geographic magazine. It was actually my introduction to pornography. Uh, we would go over to their house to visit and I would flip through the pages in hopes of maybe catching a glimpse of a naked tribeswoman. <laughs> Sometimes there would be, and sometimes not. But what I didn't realize at the time was that, much like Pavlov's dog, I was conditioning myself. Now whenever I smell a new magazine, I get an erection. <laughs> I, uh, my parents got a divorce when I was about 30 years old. And, uh, you would think that at, at my age it would have been easier to understand and process everything that was going on, but uh, it was actually pretty messed up because I understood everything that was going on. Yeah, I can only imagine that they stayed together for the kids. They wanted us to know how to be in a loveless relationship. <laughs> Probably explains why I'm so bad at tennis. Yeah, I've, not, I've never won a game. Uh, just not ready to give up on love. I did have a, a pretty big moment recently when I met uh, Tony the Tiger. He was like, uh, or rather I said to Tony, he was like, hey Tony, how's it going? He was like, good. And um, I said, hey Tony, you're, you're a cereal guy, right? Uh, do you like Raisin Bran? Do you like raisins? He was like, they're grapes! I'd <laughs> uh, just like to do a few impressions for you now, if you guys like impressions. And that's my cat when it comes across something it doesn't quite trust. <laughs> that is a spray bottle that a waitress was using at Burns Irish Pub in Brunswick, Maine on March 22nd, 2015. That's a screaming goat. <laughs> That's a motorcycle. Been working on that one. I feel like it's coming along pretty nicely. But, uh, eight hours a day will really only get you so far. 
I, uh, I heard a mockingbird the other day. It was like, nice hat. <laughs> I wasn't even wearing a hat. Uh, before I go and give the mic back to your host for tonight, I'd just like to share one last thought with you all. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Even down, everybody, I know.